We do begin with that breaking news, a massive volcano erupting in New Zealand. Dozens of tourists were there exploring when the smoke and ash flew thousands of feet into the air, killing at least five people and injuring others. Right now, some are still missing, and the situation, as you can imagine, extremely dangerous. ABC's James Longman starts us off with the latest. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Robin. It's known as New Zealand's angriest volcano. Thousands visit every year, but this eruption was totally unexpected. Some people were just feet from the crater when it exploded. Rescue workers are still unable to access the island because it's still too dangerous. So the true number of those caught up in this is still unknown. No, 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 no. <laughs> A deadly volcanic eruption rocking New Zealand. Tour boats race to escape the danger. At least five people dead and others missing. Authorities warn the death toll could rise. The sudden eruption hit just after 2 p.m. on New Zealand's White Island. Volcanic ash spewing 12,000 feet into the air. If you are close to that, it is, it is not good. Around 50 people were on or around the island at the time, many of them tourists. A sign of just how sudden this blow was, look how close these people were to the crater right before the explosion. An American tourist taking this video inside the rim just 20 minutes before. More than 20 people have been rescued from the island so far. A number of people have burns as a result of the eruption. It is still too early for police to confirm uh, how many people are involved. The dead are among those rescued, and since the island is still too dangerous to access, it's not known how many more may be hurt. The island is covered with volcanic material, and a no-fly zone is in place, with New Zealand now calling in its military to help. The danger of a second eruption still very real. It has quietened down, but we can't be certain there won't be another eruption in the next 24 hours. Now, as you were hearing there, the fear of another eruption is still very real. Scientists are saying it was almost like the volcano was clearing its throat, so another explosion possible. Rescue workers are now saying, though, there are no signs of life on the island. Amy? Oh, just devastating. All right, James, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching. We're following in New Zealand. Tourists visited an active volcano, some walking right into the crater. Many of them never made it out. Take a look at these dramatic images. <laughs> Imagine the terror and chaos of having to race onto a boat and escape for your life. The volcano on White Island erupted several times while the tourists were there. Five people are confirmed dead. Eight people are still missing. There doesn't appear to be much hope of uh, finding them alive. Rescuers aren't, able, aren't even able to get near the island right now because it's too dangerous. The prime minister of New Zealand spoke a short time ago. Consensus here is that the focus has to be on uh, those at this time who are critically injured um, and, of course, what is very sadly a recovery operation. Um, of those questions that people undoubtedly will have, uh, the, the context would simply provide is that um, my understanding is that tourism operations have been undertaken there for several decades, uh, uh, up, to, up to 30 years. Um, it has been a live volcano throughout that time. At various times has been <coughs> able to. Um, uh, but... Um, uh, it is a very unpredictable volcano. There will be questions that will be asked and do need to be answered by the appropriate authorities, and we will be ensuring that that happens. But for now, we're focused on, on those who are caught up in this um, horrific event. Well, meteorologist Tom Sater joins me now with more. So the Prime Minister of New Zealand said this is an active volcano. Mm -hmm. um, so how risky was it to actually be on that island? Because if it uh, had been a tourist destination for that long, right. uh, people have been visiting that place for a while now. Yeah, tourist companies, I, we believe, uh, Hala, take about 10,000 tourists to the volcano every year. But uh, we're going to go through some of the questions they're going to be asking that the prime minister is, is bringing up. 48 kilometers off the coast of the North Island, the Bay of Plenty. Uh, this volcano, 70% of it is underwater, making it the largest volcano in uh, all of New Zealand. But you can see where past eruptions have, you know, kind of collapsed side of this, what we call a cone volcano. You just never know with these things, even though they're trembling.
tremors have been picked up in the last week. Uh, Himawari satellite imagery actually will show the plume here picking up, getting up to about 12,000 uh, feet in elevation. But here are the questions. We found a report that was issued just one week ago. And it comes from GeoNet, uh, of course, of New Zealand, monitoring the situation. And it states, moderate volcanic unrest continues. Substantial gas, steam, mud bursts. And in fact, it goes on to say mud bursts 20 to 30 meters in the air. This activity has been present since late September, becoming more frequent may be entering a period where eruptive activity is more likely than normal. So that begs the question, why allow the tourists to get there to begin with? Now, at one time briefly, we're at a three, a minor eruption. Holla did jump to a four during that activity, but it's back down. And I know everyone's trying to keep up hope for any survivors, but this toxic gas uh, and the smoke plumes is just so at high in intensity, not to mention, of course, uh, the temperatures, the, the water on there is acidic and probably boiling. I mean, we're trying to keep all hope out, but no one knows if it'll erupt again. You just have to hope that all that energy trapped underneath has been released. Wave heights for rescuers, one to five meters so they're going to be battling some winds i think the next 24 hours good evening and thank you so much for joining us rescuers say it is still too dangerous to search for survivors tonight after tourists in new zealand were trapped by an erupting volcano spewing ash and smoke 12,000 feet in the air there are at least five dead and dozens injured, and there are Americans who still have not been accounted for. It happened on New Zealand's White Island. That is a popular tourist attraction where more than 10,000 people visit every year. And there are questions tonight about why people were allowed to set foot on one of New Zealand's most active volcanoes just weeks after geologists warned of volcanic unrest. Ian Lee leads off our coverage tonight. Vakari's eruption sent violent clouds of pulverized rock and steam into the mid-afternoon sky, no, 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 no. covering White Island's moon-like surface in more than a foot of ash. This webcam image taken just beforehand shows a group of people exploring the topmost reaches of the volcano. Another group can be seen huddling on the shore below. Within minutes, first responders navigated treacherous conditions to rescue 34 people. Many of those evacuated were seriously injured, some with severe burns. Eight people are still missing, five were killed. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. No signs of life have been seen at any point. Fakari is a major tourist destination, drawing an estimated 10,000 people a year. Among them, Lauren Barham and Matthew Yuri, newlyweds from Virginia who are on a Royal Caribbean cruise for their honeymoon. Both are now hospitalized. This was ridiculous. It was absurd. And people died. Rick and Barbara Barham heard from their daughter just before she left for the island hike. It had my daughter known that there was any risk involved, she wouldn't have gone. The cruise line markets the trip by focusing on the adventure of exploring hot volcanic streams. But geologists recently saw an increase in dangerous gas, prompting them to raise the alert level. On the scheme of things, for volcanic eruptions, it's not large. But if you are close to that, it is, it is not good. Experts warn that there still could be more eruptions from this volcano. But Nora, one of the big questions this evening is with the increased volcanic activity, why were people allowed on the island in the first place? A deep question indeed, Ian. Thank you. sudden and deadly volcano erupting on an island in New Zealand. Americans feared to be among the missing tonight. The volcano sending ash soaring 12,000 feet into the air with no warning as tourists from all over the world were standing along its rim and climbing up its sides. And this video tonight from a boat that had left just minutes before the blast. At least five people killed and many still missing. Here's ABC's James Longman tonight. Tonight, a terrifying escape for tourists fleeing this massive volcanic eruption that came close to killing them. Watch the cloud burst across the water towards their speeding boat. Tour guides begging them to get to safety. The sudden eruption hit just after 2 p.m. on New Zealand's White Island. Volcanic ash spewing 12,000 feet into the air. 47 people were on the island when the volcano erupted, some coming from a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Look at this group of people inside the crater, this image taken minutes before the explosion. 
New Zealand officials saying at least five are confirmed dead. More than 30 were rescued, some severely burned. Several Americans among the missing. It is now clear that there were two groups on the island, those who were able to be evacuated and those who were close to the eruption. Tourist Michael Shade shooting this video. He just left the island with his family 20 minutes earlier. Capturing these images of a group huddled on a pier, desperate for safety. A wrecked helicopter visible in the ash behind them. The whereabouts of its passengers unknown. We do not believe anybody else has survived that explosion. Our foreign correspondent James Longman with us live tonight. And James, you've learned that scientists uh, had warned of increased activity at this volcano, what, just two weeks ago? Yeah, David, scientists reported an increase in gases and small volcanic tremors, and it's long been known as an unpredictable vo volcano. So big questions tonight over why tourists are still allowed to climb it. A second eruption is possible, which may mean if there are bodies on the island, it may be very difficult to retrieve them. David. James Longman on this for us again tonight. James, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA. For those who narrowly escaped White Island, it was difficult to avert their gaze. The huge cloud of ash and smoke billowing out was mesmerizing and still potentially deadly for them as their boat sped away. Suddenly the risk of being consumed by deadly gases dawned on the tourists and they scrambled inside as the wall of the eruption spread towards them. On the island, other sightseers were being rescued from the shore. 31 casualties, including two British women, were ferried by helicopter to the mainland, many suffering severe burns. This group was seen on a monitoring camera near the crater and making their way back down just before the eruption. A British skydiver witnessed the explosion as he was in freefall nearby. And you could just see the plume developing rather rapidly. And in the space of uh, about 45 seconds, which is the length of time of free fall, it had grown to what I can best describe as like a huge cloud that had almost enveloped the island completely. There were a total of 47 people on the island, including some from this cruise ship, the Ovation of the Seas. It's now been confirmed five people have died, with a further eight missing, including several foreign tourists. To those who have lost or are missing family and friends, we share in your unfathomable grief at this moment in time and in your sorrow. Your loved ones stood alongside Kiwis who are hosting you here and we grieve with you and we grieve with them. So far, only one victim has been named. New Zealander Hayden Marshall Inman was leading a tour group on the island. His brother says he died doing what he loved. Amid the deep layer of fresh ash, the remains of a helicopter could be seen the island's still too dangerous for rescue crews to approach. Today our focus will be on working with the, uh, the experts to determine the safety for us to return to the island to look to recover those people that are currently missing. Footage from the crater taken 30 minutes before the eruption showed normal levels of steam. The risk level had been raised from minor to moderate activity, but experts said there was no indication the volcano was about to explode with such ferocity. Dam Rivers, News at 10.